Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now, in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and have a look at how to work out a benefit in kind for a car, and also how to work out a benefit in kind for the provision of fuel. So, let's take a look here, what we've got. So, we're being told that an employee has received a car, so a Skoda, that's been held for six months in the year. The list price of the car was 26,350. The total paid was 24,000, so a little bit less than the list price. The employee paid 1,000 pounds towards the car. And the scale charge here, we don't need to work out. It's been given to us and that is 21%. So then how do we go about working out the benefit in kind for the car? So these two calculations are going to be ever so slightly different. Now we're going to start off with the benefit in kind for the car. So what we always need to take is the list price, not the price paid, the list price. So we're going to go equals list price, but where an employee has made a contribution towards the car, we're allowed to take some of that off the list price when working out the benefit in kind for the car. But this is actually capped at £5,000. So let's say the employee um, paid £6,000 towards the car we would only be able to take £5,000 off it. But in this case, they've only taken, um, they've only provided £1,000 towards the car. So we can take it off the £1,000. Okay. Then what we need to do is times that by the scale charge. So 21%. Now, if that car had been held for the entire year, our total benefit in kind for the car would be £5,323.50. However, it's not. And the reason for that is because it's been held for six months. So what we need to do is take all of this, times it by six for six months, and divide it by 12. And that's going to give us £2,661.75 as a benefit in kind for the car. Now, for the benefit in kind for the provision of fuel, if we just take a look at this over here, if we look over here at the government website, what we can see is that the van benefit is set at £3,500 per year and the car fuel benefit multiplier at £24,600 and the van fuel benefit at £669. So what that means for us is that we need to take £24,600, so not the list price, not the price paid, Put this 24,600 and we need to multiply that by the scale charge. So we're going to type in 24,600 times by 21%. And then again, that there is for 12 months in total. And we don't want 12 months because the car was only held for six months. So we're going to open bracket times by six months divided by 12 months. And that gives us £2,583 for the benefit in kind for the provision of fuel. So there you go. Now this is going to help you with personal tax. It's going to help you with business tax, any tax exam that you've got under the CPAA, AAT, ICB and other qualifications. So if you like the video, then give it a thumbs up because it really does help the channel to grow. Subscribe to the channel if you like this sort of content and otherwise I'll catch you at the next one.